plastic. It's a little dry rotting, a little brittle, unfortunately. Man, I'm glad I'm wearing safety glasses on now, and that one shot me right in the face. Welcome to Hobby Hardwood, Alabama, a mom and pop operation that produces some of the finest grade hardwood lumber in the country. One of the oldest pieces of saw mill equipment that we have is gonna get phased out. That is our solar kiln. Got mixed emotions about this one. This has been a great little piece of machinery for us. I built it when I had my first sawmill in LT15. Um, however, you might notice it's looking a little worse for wear. And we had a hard storm and it tripped a bunch of our breakers. We had a power outage. This thing got so hot in the summertime with no fans running, no air dump, that it literally almost burned up to the ground. Well, I never got around to fixing it. It's got other issues, the siding's coming off. Inside, it looks pretty rough. I noticed that at some point, my outlet died and almost caught on fire. So, we're gonna clean it, and not to mention the mice and the rats have taken over, and this thing is one, one virus short of a hantavirus attack. This thing stinks. You know, mice and rats and crap they get in stuff, they will ruin anything. It's a shame, it's been a good kiln, but as much as we produce now, that really serves no useful purpose other than as a storage spot, but now that the mice and everything, look at all the, look at all the acorns down there. I mean, there's like a half an inch of nuts. Little devils crawl into the holes, they pour holes into the side cause all kinds of problems and that just stinks like it's about horrible. Plastic, it's a little dry rotting, a little brittle, unfortunately. And I'm glad I'm wearing safety glasses on now and that one shot me right in the face. So one of the reasons we need to get this done is we have this great big old dead hickory tree right there. And the problem with that, for me to drop it, it's gonna drop right about here. Which means if it falls on my kiln, then I got a double mess to clean up. So anyway, first things first, we are going to uh, get those blocks out of here and get them stacked up. And uh, hopefully we can do it without getting bit by a brown recluse.
Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.